some of the economic recovery trends certainly seem to be going in the right direction. What are you monitoring specifically? And I know generally, right, you're more bullish than bearish, right? Absolutely. Um, I mean, to your point, we're looking at all macroeconomic data. So, for example, in July, the U.S. manufacturing sector, you saw that uh, orders for durable goods increased by over 11 percent for the third straight monthly increase. Um, and we're consistently seeing economic reports that are coming out and beating expectations. Um, consumer spending increased again in July, which beat expectations. And it really just seems to be a question of, you know, sentiment being so low and a lot of these economic forecasts being so low uh, and it's continuing to surprise the upside. And that's really, you know, what we see is driving markets, um, oftentimes looking, you know, anywhere from three months to three years ahead of time. Do you think the market is still a buy? Absolutely. Um, and I, I would say it depends where you're looking in the market. So if we look at really primarily what's driving the Dow, the NASDAQ and the S&P, you know, we're talking about big mega cat tech stocks. So we're looking at Apple, Amazon, Facebook, uh, Alphabet and Microsoft. Um, I don't think that those are a good buy right now. And I completely agree with Tom that it's probably a good idea to have some consolidation and take some profits. Um, but if we look at sectors like value, emerging markets and some of these foreign markets, um, I think there's a lot of great buys and a lot of positions that are still, um, you know, still at a loss for the year and have a lot of room to run and at much cheaper and better valuations than, you know, Apple and Tesla, for example. Um, the COVID story, I know Abbott was on your radar, a rapid te testing or vaccine. Tell me about how your investment style might change with what you're watching on the pharmaceutical side of things here with COVID? Um, well, I think that what we've seen so far this year is any positive news relating to, you know, a virus or rapid test, or excuse me, to a vaccine or rapid testing or some kind of treatment for the virus is really seeing some sort of a, a rotation in stocks and favoring things that have really been hit hardest by the pandemic and the lockdowns. Um, so, and that's, you know, a lot of those value players and some of those other things so that's really where we want to focus on and and concentrate on. I think, you know, optimistic and bullish overall. So certainly hoping that we see some biotech or some pharmaceutical come through and have some sort of breakthrough, you know, in the next six months, two years, whatever the time may be. And that's really where we, we think that we'll see a big rotation in some of those smaller cap names, value and, and international. What do you think about the Fed stance on the little change they made there in inflation? Um, I think it was good overall. I mean, they said basically that they're going to account for all the times that inflation is below their target so that, it, you know, if and when it hits 2 percent, they're not going to look to raise rates immediately, uh, which I think is ultimately good, obviously, for, for borrowers, uh, not as good for lenders. But I think that we will see inflation start to tick up and the market's going to like it a lot better if the Fed is a little more dovish and not so quick to, to raise rates. When you look at big tech, some of the other names, if we span it out a little bit, when we look at names like in the Dow 30, IBM, I know Exxon's out now, but AT&T, GM, Kodak, these are some of the names you have talked about. Why are you looking at some of these old school names? Um, well, really, I thought it was important if you look at the concentration that we see in the S&P right now. Um, the last time that we saw such a high concentration in these top five names was in 1970, 50 years ago. Um, and really just making the point that 50 years ago, you know, the top names were Exxon, General Motors, Kodak. Um, you had them in a lot of different industries, whereas right now it's so concentrated, all in tech. Um, and I just think that, you know, again, there needs to be a rotation and we really need to see better better market breadth 